It had rained all day, but that didn't dampen the mood as both teams took to the field. There was a carnival atmosphere in the stands. Cuban fans packed into Havana's small soccer stadium, some sporting the flag of their longtime Cold War enemy, the United States. This is the first time a US professional soccer team has played here in almost 40 years, a landmark game of sports diplomacy. Also attending was the former Cosmos player and Brazilian superstar Pelé, who at a pre-match press conference got the two sides to join hands. Are you building bridges? Do you feel this is more than just sport? Definitely. I think sports uh, goes beyond and above anything. And uh, I think uh, the sport can be uh, many, many bridges. Uh, so we feel that definitely that's the case uh, here, I think. The Cuban team are all amateurs, and it wasn't long before they found themselves a goal down. But the match was also about gaining experience playing against a professional side, and they did manage to pull one goal back. Soccer remains a minority sport here compared to baseball, but there is a lot of European football being shown on Cuban television, and it's attracting a whole new generation of fans. If you could be a professional player, would you rather play baseball or football? Football, football. football. football is in crisis with the corruption scandal surrounding its governing body, FIFA. This goodwill game produced a welcome change. It ended with New York Cosmos scoring four goals to one, but everyone came away a winner. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana. Well, it was a professional team against the amateur Cubans and the New York Cosmos won for one. It, I've just got back from the game. It really was quite a carnival at, um, atmosphere. The stands were packed, lots of uh, American flags in the crowd, lots of people wearing uh, the stars and stripes as well, and being Cuba, lots of drums and trumpets and music. Given that football is going through its worst crisis in its history with this corruption scandal engulfing its governing body, FIFA, this was the perfect antidote. A goodwill game uh, trying to, to build bridges between the two sides. Um, it was very shortly, within weeks, of Presidents Raul Castro and Barack Obama announcing that, that they would try and have a thaw in relations and restore diplomatic relations. The Cosmos Football Club really moved very quickly to organize this trip. They've been beaten in terms of that the NBA sent a workshop here, the Basketball Association. We've had other big American events like a big chain, symphony orchestra. But Cosmos were the first to say they wanted to come and their arrival really has been greeted um, with a lot of pleasure here in Cuba. They came with one of their former star players and the su Brazilian superstar Pele. And at a, earlier at a pre-match press conference, he, he spoke about why he thought this visit was so important. Soccer is still a minority sport here compared to baseball, but there's a lot of European League soccer shown on Cuban television and it is bringing about a whole new generation of fans to the game. That was one of the reasons I think why Cosmos wanted to come here was to help promote the game of soccer and certainly um, particularly the Spanish game, the Spanish league is incredibly popular here in Cuba. When there's the big Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona, the whole country grinds to a halt and in Cosmos, one of the Cosmos players there was the former Real Madrid superstar Raul, Raul Gonzalez. Huge cheers went up for him when, when he appeared on the pitch. So this really has been a, 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 a bit of goodwill diplomacy and helping promote the game. Nothing official, no. Certainly at the, at the pre-match press conference, they made it quite clear, uh, Cosmos, that they did not want to field any questions at all about FIFA. So, so they've tried to keep politics, at least the sports politics and the, the corruption scandal, out of this, this visit.